Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. So today we are going to start with the next uh, topic that is 9.3 and in here we are going to study about genetic polymorphism and selection and there are many other topics. So today we are going to start with the first one that is genetic polymorphism. So I want you to first just have a look at this picture. These are different kind of see they are the same species of birds but you can see the kind of variation that they are exhibiting right so you can from this picture only you can understand what is the topic for our day right so the word genetic polymorphism you need to break it down see uh, in 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 uh, bio biology when we study many a things you can understand from the if you understand the words right so genetic polymorphism right don't worry everything today I am going to cover about this topic and everything you are going to understand okay so genetic related to genes encoding how we inherit the coded information from our ancestors all of that right poly and morph polymorphism the word polymorphism is made up of two words poly and morph poly you can say means many more than one right and morph you can say form okay form Pol uh, morph you can say form or trait or character something like that right so polymorphism basically means that you you know at one gene in one gene there could be variation there could be at your genetic level there could be variation which causes a, a allelic frequency which is more than one uh, you didn't understand quite many kya bola right so let me take you for example if i tell you hum example lete hai blood group ki and it's a classic example of uh, polymorphism what kind of uh, blood groups do you have you have a you have b you have o you have ab right what is this blood group to a ki hona chahiye tha if there was no variation if there was no variation at genetic level that all of us then all of us would have had the same blood group but there is genetic uh, polymorphism that means there are variations at genetic level and all of them are naturally selected also now what is the the role of natural selection what is natural selection okay na jab humne when we studied about uh, the concept of darwin and survival of the fittest uh, survival of the fittest there we talked about natural selection also natural selection kya hota hai there are there are over the course of evolution there are uh, new variations mutations right that keep on taking place at genetic level at phenotypic level right at many levels theek hai but not all of them are advantageous to the living organisms right so only the ones in which you are able to better adapt to the environment you are better able to cope up with the uh, changes and dynamics of the environment only those ones are naturally selected so therefore polymorphism ka concept jo hai it is important because it helps us to understand how genes work how the genetic variation happens and how they are naturally selected also theek hai so i hope you've understood the crux of the topic so now let's start with the topic theek hai so polymorphism the meaning first of all let's try and understand that so the occurrence of the occurrence of two or more different forms or morphs in a population of a species theek hai to isme example le lo abo blood group ka that means we all have different different blood groups but yet we all are naturally selected that means we all are healthy we all are surviving and this population is stable that means aisa nahi hai ki you know there'll be a certain group of people who are having a blood group so they are more favored over the b ones or the ab ones aisa nahi hai na that means each one of them has their own uh, you know stabilized population and then there is nobody who's uh, more advantageous over the others so that means this these all a a b b o all blood groups are naturally selected okay therefore they are a uh, you can say an example of polymorphism other examples you can take the different eye colors right 
we have brown eye color we have blue eye color green eye color brown eye color what are these these are also different you can say uh, more than one uh, uh, so polymorphism ka pehle definition dekh lo so polymorphism is a process where two or more possibilities of a trait are found on one gene that means if there is a gene for example which codes for the eye color this is that chromosome isme is location pe there is a gene which is coat uh, which is uh, coating for the eye color theek hai is pe black bhi ho sakta hai brown bhi ho sakta hai green bhi ho sakta hai theek hai blue bhi ho sakta hai that means if this was the gene that was encoding the information regarding the eye color it it is a possibility that this trait can have more than one kind of a allele okay so you understand what am i trying to say so polymorphic traits are just those traits which are uh, you know different variations of the similar trait theek hai so morph kya hota hai this is a term uh, this is a term that refers to various forms okay or stages in the life span of a organism now polymorphic kya ho gaya it is more than one form of trait we have talked about this and it indicates that the presence of gene with multiple variations multiple variation hogi that means for example if there is a there is a gene and this area it codes for the blood group so is pe a bhi ho sakta hai b bhi ho sakta hai it can be ab also and it can be o also so there can be different possibilities of any uh, you know uh, allele of being there right so this is what polymorphism is all about so i hope you must have understood and then there is monomorphism also now what is monomorphism similar uh, similarly you can just break down the word mono morph that means mono means one and form means uh, you can say morph means form that means something where only one form can be there there cannot be any other form but only one so even even uh, jaise genetic polymorphism hota hai it is it is an example of variation that occurs theek hai occurs in the at the gene level but many a times there is a uh, that genetic that, that genetic polymorphism is not required for example theek hai there are only two genders that are there male and female there are no other third gender right so agar hum bole ki obviously uh, there are uh, other genders also so jinko hum collectively other mein count karte hain but then you see many of the times they are not able to uh, you know like reproduce right because uh, kya hai ki there is a natural selection of the environment kya hota hai basically environment uh, environment in the sense that nature is selectively uh, uh, you know male and female are better adapted or you can say they are more naturally uh, you know surviving in that environment had this other gender been uh, very favor favored by the natural selection to inki population bhi increase hoti but it is not increasing because they are maybe not very favored because many times they are not able to reproduce also so ye kya hota hai there is a natural selection process also so there is no third gender and if there is it gets eliminated because they are either not able to reproduce themselves and in case of many dominant genetic disorders you can say even they are not passed on to, to the future generation because they become fatal theek hai and when it becomes fatal that means it causes death of the person so hence if this that person is not able to reproduce he will not be able to pass on, pass it on to the next generation so this is how natural selection works both on the polymorphic traits and monomorphic traits now you need to understand okay uh, yes uh, now you need to understand that the the law of bi bi biology also talks about monomorphism that means there is a stability of the genes and organs and functions theek hai so which passes on from uh, one generation to another so you can say two third of our genes theek hai they are monomorphic that means they do not require any variation so if if there is any variation in this two third genes theek hai which should be intact in the same way that they should be agar in me uh, in me uh, you know any variation happens so wo fatal ho sakti hai right 
it could be dangerous it can cause any genetic disorder right so in that way usko hum mutation bhi bol sakte hain now this brings me to the next topic that what is the difference between genetic polymorphism and mutation because mutation also causes variation but now hold your horses because i'm going to uh, uh, cover this in the next slide so do not worry just understand now genetic monomorphism kya ho gaya that means there are certain genes in which there is no variation and even that is selected by the environment because they need to be like that theek hai so there is uh, important function of many uh, genes that need to be uh, the way they are in the living organisms generation after generation so they are called monomorphic genes right and if any change happens in these monomorphic genes it can become fatal theek hai so the point is usme it it uh, if the if any variation happens in the monomorphic genes then the person might not be able to survive in the environment that means usko then it will harm uh, become harmful for his natural selection theek hai so polymorphic genes mein humne baat kar liya on the other hand now when i have told you okay uh, ki how monomorphic genes are and how they do not require any variation in them and if any variation occurs they are going to uh, it it is going to become harmful or uh, negatively work in matlab against them right so in polymorphic kya hota hai polymorphic traits are also important in the same way because what polymorphic traits do many a times polymorphic traits increase your survivability right survivability increase hoti hai why because these are naturally selected and that is why they are increasing in the population ठीक है सो अब हम इसके बात करेंगे नाउ इसमें एग्जाम्पल लेट मी फर्स्ट टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस द गोल्डियन फिंचेस नाउ दीज आर ऑल्सो नोन एज द डार्विन फिंचेस एंड दिस टॉपिक एंड जेनेटिक पॉलीमोर्फिज्म आई हैव ऑल्सो कवर्ड ब्रीफली एंड यू कैन से विद अ लॉट मोर अदर डायमेंशंस इन द डार्विन थ्यूरी ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन सो यू कैन गो बैक वॉच दैट वीडियो ऑल्सो फॉर फर्दर क्लैरिटी ऑन दिस गोल्डियन फिंचेस एंड द फुल यू नो डिटेल्स हैव शेयर देयर ऑल्सो सो यू कैन गो बैक एंड वॉच दैट ऑल्सो सो वहाँ पे भी आई टोल्ड यू दैट दीज फिंचेस दे हैव डिफरेंट कलर्स ऑफ देर बीक्स ठीक है देर फेदर पैटर्न आर डिफरेंट ठीक है देन यू नो सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स वाई इट हैपन बिकॉज दे वर लिविंग ऑन एन आरकी पिलेगो where they did not need to uh, you know uh, they, because there was no competition so they did not move from one island to the other and over the course of time when natural selection acted on them isolation acted on them unme different different uh, qualities ya yeah, you can say traits developed and they were passed on to the next generation next generation and so on so what happened you can say though they are a same species but there are so many different colors that they are showing so what is this and all of them are uh, selected by the environment that means aisa nahi hai ki if somebody is having the red color so he will die and and some uh, finch if it is having a blue color that is more beneficial everyone regardless of the color everyone is naturally selected so what does this show that genetic polymorphism is different then mutation because mutation in many cases are fatal and most of the cases mutation the word mutation only hum use karte hain when something dangerous variation happens theek hai to tabhi hum usko mutation bolte hain whereas if it is selected by the natural selection process we will call it variation or uh, genetic polymorphism and then this is uh, this is uh, you know balance in the population that means the the ratio will remain more or less the similar matlab aisa nahi hai ki they have to be 50 50% aisa nahi hai ki agar blue finches hai red finches hai both will be 50 50% no the one can be 10% one can be 90% also but more or less they will be all selectively advantageous okay so this is one example theek hai so this was one example of golden finches ki they have different colors they have different beak uh, designs they have different feather patterns but all of them are selectively uh, you know they are they are inter they are uh, you know uh, reproducing success uh, successfully they are maintaining their 
population in the environment so that means genetic polymorphism is happening similar example is that of a jaguar so what happens uh, agar us you know they have dark or light spots and they are different spots on their body this is because that because the gene which carries a color in the jaguar has more than one trait theek hai so uski wajah se jo gene tha theek hai it should have one you know uh, trait for the color but it has more than one so that is why they they also exhibit genetic polymorphism that means udhar bhi unke color mein variation rahegi some would have dark spots some would have light spots some would have more spots less spots like that theek hai so this is also an example humans mein humne baat kar liya blood group is one example hair color is another example theek hai eye color is another example so these are things that you can categorize as genetic polymorphism okay so now uh, yeah now we were talking about what is mutation and polymorphism and what is the difference so polymorphism you understand it is uh, actually you can say healthy theek hai and it sometimes gives you a competitive advantage and you can say uh, survival of the fittest may it helps you to better adapt to the environment so wo selective advantage many times it gives you but mutation on the other hand though both are involving certain variation or certain change in the allelic frequency but mutation is certain thing which which causes certain abnormalities theek hai so they can be phenotypic or physical now you need to understand jab hum polymorphism ki bhi baat kar rahe the na polymorphism ki there are two kind, kinds of polymorphism one is at genetic level so you can say genetic polymorphism and one is at phenotypic level phenotype पता है ना फिजिकल लेवल पे सो फिनोटिपिक लेवल पे फॉर एग्जांपल जो मैं ए बी ओ ब्लड ग्रुप की बात कर रही थी ना वो आपका जेनेटिक पॉलीमोफिज्म हो गया जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल आपका आप इफ यू हैव ए ब्लड ग्रुप और बी ब्लड ग्रुप इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू शो ऑन योर फेस आई कॉन्ट सी अ पर्सन एंड टेल दिस पर्सन हैज अ बी ब्लड ग्रुप ऐसा तो नहीं होता ना एवरीबडी लुक्स द सेम एंड वी कॉन्ट टेल सो दैट मीन्स दैट इज जस्ट अ जेनेटिक ट्रेट दैट इज इन द जीन लेवल वेरिएशन बट फिनोटाइप पे फिजिकली इट डजेंट शो बट फिनोटिपिक वेरिएशन क्या हो सकता है आई कलर आई कलर कुड बी अ फिनोटिपिक वेरिएशन ठीक है ना आई कैन जस्ट बाय फिजिकली लुकिंग एट यू आई कैन टेल यू वेदर यू हैव अ ब्लैक आई ग्रीन आई ब्लू आई राइट सो देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ पॉलीमोफिज्म जेनेटिक एंड फिनोटिपिक सिमिलरली म्यूटेशन कैन ऑल्सो हैपन एट अ जीन लेवल और इट कैन ऑल्सो देखो ऑब्वियसली अगर फिनोटाइप में होना है तो जीनोटाइप में तो होना ही चाहिए बट द पॉइंट इज जीनोटाइप में समटाइम्स इफ देर इज अ चेंज इट माइट शो फिजिकली इट माइट नॉट शो ऑन फिजिकली राइट बट जीन लेवल पे चेंज तो होगा ही होगा इफ इट हैज टू सरफेस ऑन द फिनोटाइप देर हैज टू बी अ चेंज इन द जीनो टाइप दैट इज नॉट वॉट आई एम सेंग समाइम्स इट डजेंट फिजिकली शो ठीक है सो म्यूटेशन ऑल्सो जेनेटिक यू कैन से दैट डजेंट शो एंड देन दे कुड बी फिनोटिपिक म्यूटेशन ऑल्सो सो इट कुड कॉज एबनॉर्मेलिटीज बोथ एट फिनोटिपिक एंड फिजिकल लेवल ठीक है इफ देर इज एनी म्यूटेशन एंड म्यूटेशन जो होती है दैट इज लीथल वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इट सो दैट मीन्स दैट एक नॉर्मल अलील था ठीक है एंड इट इट नाउ हैज गॉट altered but not in a positive way and that means it is not selected so natural selection mein where genetic polymorphism is selected mutation is not selected theek hai so it it selectively acts negative against you theek hai so and and mutation jo hoti hai na that occurs in less than 1% theek hai so uska percentage kya rahega in a population less than 1% mutation occurs and if it is more than 1% that means it is polymorphism now uh, now what is this 1% or uh, what was that i was telling you theek hai hum laga ke chalte hain that there is a population theek hai and if that trait is there in more than 1% people theek hai that means it is naturally getting selected that is why wo increase ho raha hai right if it has to in, if it is increasing more than 1% that means it is successful and people are able to reproduce and pass it on to the next generation and that is why that trait is increasing in the population so that means that trait cannot be dangerous right 
बिकॉज अगर वो डेंजरस होगा देन इट विल बी फेटल और इट विल कॉज सर्टन एबनॉर्मेलिटीज ठीक है सो हाउ विल दैट बी पास डाउन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन एंड हाउ विल दैट इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दैट अलील विल इंक्रीज इन द पॉपुलेशन इट कैन नॉट इंक्रीज राइट सो देर फोर दैट वन परसेंट ठीक है बिकॉज इफ देर एनी म्यूटेशन इज अकरिंग ठीक है दैट पीपल विल डाई ठीक है सो दे आर नॉट एबल टू पास इट ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन देर फोर म्यूटेशन हमेशा वन परसेंट से कम रहेगी ठीक है सो एग्जाम्पल क्या होगी सिकल सेल अनिमिया नाउ यू कॉन्ट कॉल सिकल सेल अनिमिया अ पॉलीमोर्फिक ट्रेट ठीक है दो इट इज यू नो प्रेवलेंट इन मेनी प्लेसेज बट यू एंड इट इज सिलेक्टेड ऑल्सो बिकॉज नाउ वी विल ट्राई एंड लुक एट वॉट इज द एडवांटेज दैट सिकल सेल अनिमिया गिवस बट इवन देन यू कॉन्ट कॉल इट पॉलीमोर्फिक ट्रेट बिकॉज इट इज अल्टीमेटली डेंजरस ट्रेट ठीक है ना सो ठीक है so that is the example of mutation uh, sickle cell anemia now i'll tell you hum natural selection ki baat kar rahe the right so natural selection mein abhi i've uh, covered it mostly we were talking about polymorphism we have talked about monomorphism and we have talked about mutation now what happens basically just try and understand polymorphic traits i told you that uh, it means that there are certain variations at the genetic level and it is causing certain allelic uh, variations theek hai and all of them are selected theek hai that is why they are persisting in the population that means in polymorphic traits if natural selection occurs that 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 stabilizes those uh, you know uh, variations in the population similarly two third of our genes are the genes that do not require any variation and they are passed on as it is that means they are also naturally selected and if there is any mutation occurring in those monomorphic traits they are considered to be fatal so that means wahan pe natural selection negative effect karti hai right and mutation ke case mein many a times natural selection negative hi affect karti hai because if there is a mutation deleterious gene is there theek hai Uh, that means which is dangerous or fatal for you so that is when when it is fatal when natural selection acts against it now i'll give you an example when mutation occurs and natural selection acts for it matlab in favor of it theek hai so let let me show you that example and that example is a classic uh, sickle cell anemia so now i'll just tell you what happens okay so basically if you if you think that this is our आर्ट्रीज ठीक है एंड नॉर्मल आर बी सी का शेप ऐसा होता है ठीक है इट इज राउंडिश इन शेप ठीक है सो दे आर ईजिली एबल टू पास ऑन फ्रॉम द आर्ट्रीज ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं होती दे पास ऑन बट वेन देर इज अई थिंक इट्स जी सिक्स पी डी जी सिक्स पी डी एंजाइम इज देयर एंड ड्यू टू दैट डिफिशेंसी द सिकल द आर बी सी चेंजेस इट्स शेप टू अ मोर लाइक अ सिकल सेल ठीक है सो नो वॉट हैपन्स इज इट अब अब इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज इट स्टार्ट टू ब्लॉक द आर्टरीज ठीक है नाउ जो वो उसका राउंड शेप था ना वो इट वॉज हेल्पिंग इट टू पास वेरी फ्रीली बट नाउ इट स्टार्ट टू क्लॉग ठीक है इट स्टार्ट टू क्लॉग एंड देर फोर इट स्टार्ट टू यू नो क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम ठीक है सो सिकल सेल के केस में ऐसा होता है नाउ वॉट हैपन्स आई एल टेल यू दे लेट मी टेक अ एग्जाम्पल आई टोल्ड यू येस्टडे ऑल्सो दैट सिकल सेल अनिमिया में पीपल हु हैव सिकल सेल अनिमिया ठीक है दे आर दो दे हैव अ सिकल सेल डिजीज एंड इट इज दैट इज समथिंग विच रिड्यूस देयर इम्यूनिटी ठीक है इम्यूनिटी कम हो जाती है एंड देयर मतलब बहुत प्रॉब्लम होती है ठीक है देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट कम्स विद द सिकल सेल डिजीज बट दे हैव अ एडवांटेज एंड दैट एडवांटेज इज दैट दे डोंट गेट मलेरिया तो ये मलेरिया के अगेंस्ट एक्ट करता है सो दैट मीन्स इन दिस केस दो द म्यूटेशन इज अकरिंग दिस म्यूटेशन कॉजेज यू वन नेचुरल सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस एंड दैट इज इफ यू लिव इन अ एरिया विद देर इज हाई प्रेवलेंस ऑफ मलेरिया you are uh, selectively uh, advantageous to that situation because you have sickle cell anemia and sickle cell anemia people are more 
यू कैन से यू नो फेवरेबल वो मलेरिया दे डोंट गेट मलेरिया सो उनको फायदा हो जाता है ठीक है सो नाउ लेट्स ड्रॉ अ टेबल एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सो वी येस्टरडे वी ऑल्सो ड्रॉ द प्यूनिट्स आज भी करते हैं सो so, हम एक कर लेते हैं हेमोग्लोबिन नॉर्मल है ठीक है और एक का सिकल सेल वाला है ठीक है सो so, वही वाला प्यूनिट स्क्वेयर ड्रॉ करते हैं सो दिस इज अ प्योर एच एच मीन्स अ प्योर हेल्दी पर्सन ठीक है लेट मी ड्रॉ इट लाइक दैट ठीक है ये ये प्योर हेल्दी पर्सन हो गया ठीक है सो दिस इज एच एच एस एंड दिस इज अ होमोजाइगस एच एच जो होगा ही बी अ होमोजाइगस हेल्दी दैट मीन्स वो एकदम प्योर हेल्दी ठीक है और एच एस एच एस भी होमोजाइगस है पर ये प्योर अनहेल्दी दैट मीन्स इसको इसको फुल सिकल सेल डिजीज है एंड दिस पर्सन हैज नो सिकल सेल डिजीज ठीक है एंड दो जो एच और एच एस है जो एच और एच एस को मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो बनेगा ये एक हिट्रोजाइगस हो गया ठीक है ना बिकॉज इट हैज वन वन हेल्दी जीन एंड वन अनहेल्दी और यू कैन से सिकल सेल जीन राइट सो दिस पर्सन इज अट्रोजाइगट हिट्रोजाइगोट एंड ही हैज अ माइल्ड सिकल सेल डिजीज ठीक है ना बिकॉज रिसेसिव ट्रेट है सो ओनली इफ इट इज इन द होमोजाइगस कंडीशन विच इज दिस वन इट विल गेट अ फुल सिकल सेल डिजीज सो दिस पर्सन विल हैव अ सिकल सेल डिजीज एंड इवन दिस पर्सन इज अट्रोजाइगोट so e also has a mild sickle cell disease so now what happens is let me change the color this person and this person uh, these persons are living living in a malaria prone area so you can say maybe a tropical country theek hai tropical country mein reh rahe hain theek hai so now what happens is though this person is totally safe from the sickle cell disease but he will he can uh, die of malaria or he is not free from the disease malaria theek okay? hai now this person has a mild sickle cell disease which is not fatal for him and he can live a life with a mild sickle cell but he will be uh, you know he will not have malaria theek okay? hai so he has a mild sickle cell disease but he will be safe from malaria and same is the case for this person safe for, safe from malaria but this person isko malaria to nahi hoga but he will die of sickle cell disease so in this case we see that this person the heterozygote uh, there are two heterozygotes in this case this person though he has a very mild sickle cell but he is safe from malaria also and this is called the heterozygote advantage heterozygous advantage that means sometimes if there is a variation theek hai and it is selected naturally by the environment because this person was living in a tropical area where he needed immunity against malaria so his heterozygous uh, sickle cell uh, mild sickle cell disease helped him to uh, be immune against the malarial disease and this is called the heterozygous advantage so i hope you understood and this is how natural selection also acts so if i have to say ki humko agar natural selection ki baat karni hai how it plays a part we can divide it into three categories stabilizing directional and disruptive i'll just tell you what is it stabilizing selection kya hoti hai that means you can say that uh, uh, okay we take the case of uh, gender only theek hai so what happens is if we if we take male female ka case so kya hota hai gender mein kya hoga jaise i told you most of the times there are only two genders you will not see matlab many genders theek hai na ya to male hoga ya female hoga and if there are any other theek hai they are not advantages for the uh, matlab in case of the environment if you see they are they are either not able to they are st- uh, sterile that means they are not able to successfully reproduce if they are able to reproduce you know uh, even then they'll have some diseases so it will be fatal for them and they might not be able to successfully reproduce so hence they are eliminated so if we see that there are majorly only two genders that is male and female so that means natural selection kya karti hai in this case others ko eliminate kar deti hai so there is only stabilizing selection that means if there will be a male he will be selected if there will be a female he, she will be selected but no other variation would be accepted in the 
नेचुरल सेटिंग्स सो दिस इज हाउ स्टेबलाइजिंग सिलेक्शन हैपन्स स्टेबलाइजिंग सिलेक्शन क्या होती है इट डजेंट गो बियॉन्ड वॉट द एनवायरमेंट रिक्वायर्स ठीक है सो इट स्टेबलाइजे स्टेबलाइज इट सेल्फ टू ओनली दोज दैट आर सक्सेसफुली रिक्वायर्ड इन द एनवायरमेंट सो दैट इज स्टेबलाइजिंग सिलेक्शन सेकेंड इज डायरेक्शनल सिलेक्शन नाउ डायरेक्शनल सिलेक्शन की हम बात करते हैं यू कैन जस्ट से दैट ओके लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दैट यू आर लिविंग इन अ ट्रॉपिकल कंट्री ठीक है एंड बिकॉज ट्रॉपिकल कंट्रीज में देर इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ मेलेनियन प्रोडक्शन बिकॉज योर मेलेनियन प्रोडक्शन होती है एंड इट इज नेचुरली रिक्वायर्ड देर टू प्रोटेक्ट योर योर बॉडी अगेंस्ट द यू वी रेज राइट बिकॉज इफ यू इफ यू डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस मेलेनियन इन योर बॉडी एंड द यू वी रेज बिकॉज दे आर सो Uh, all the time you you are prone to uh, have cancer matlab you can have cancer if your body is not protected against the uv rays so that is why the people of tropical areas are dark because they produce a lot of melanin in their body which is a requirement of a tropical country because ag- agar wo nahi hoga to body ko uh, you can get cancer theek hai so kya hota for example there is a person who uh, whose melanin production is not there so what will happen he will be ultimately eliminated because he will ha- he'll be prone to ha- having cancer right so that means every person in uh, mostly you can say 99% people in a tropical region are dark and that is a directional selection you can say that means because the requirement is that only one kind of people are selected in that natural setting similarly in colder environments ठीक है यू डोंट नीड दैट मच मेलिन प्रोडक्शन सो पीपल नेचुरली आर वाइट बिकॉज दैट इज सिलेक्टेड ठीक है इतना मेलिन इतनी मेलिन प्रोडक्शन की रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है ठीक है दिस इज दैट देन कम्स अ डिसरप्टिव सिलेक्शन नॉ डिसरप्टिव सिलेक्शन में यू कैन जस्ट टेक द हिट्रोजाइग एग्जाम्पल द हिट्रोजाइग हिटरो जाइगस एडवांटेज जो हमने बताया था कि इवन दो एनी पर्सन हुज हैविंग अ माइल्ड सिकल सेल डिजीज इज नॉट गुड ठीक है इवन आपको माइल्ड हो या फुली सिकल सेल डिजीज हो इट्स नॉट अ गुड थिंग बट बिकॉज यू वर इन अ ट्रॉपिकल कंट्री बिकॉज यू वॉन्टेड टू बी इम्यून टू द मलेरियल डिजीज इट काइंड ऑफ हेल्प इट काइंड ऑफ हेल्प यू ठीक है सो डिस्ट्रप्टिव है डिस्ट्रप्टिव क्या होता है समथिंग विच इज यू नो डिस्टर्ब द नॉर्मल बैलेंस तो डिस्ट्रप्टिव था बट इवन देन इट वॉज मतलब क्योंकि वहां पर अगर आप सिकल सेल से नहीं मरोगे तो मलेरिया से मर जाओगे इतनी प्रॉब्लम है राइट सो इन दैट केस माइल्ड सिकल सेल सिकल सेल डिजीज हेल्प यू ठीक है सो दिस इज वॉट वी मतलब वी ट्राई टू स्टार्ट स्टडिंग द जेनेटिक जेनेटिक पॉलीमोफिजम यू हैव स्टार्टेड द न्यू चैप्टर एंड आई होप यू हैव गॉट द यू नो लाइक थोड़ा सा ओवरव्यू ऑफ द चैप्टर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू एंड आई होप यू गाइज लाइक डिट ऑल्सो एंड इफ यू डिट प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू